Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. Wishing you all a very happy new year. Now, today's video I am extremely, extremely excited about. This idea has been in my mind for almost two months and I just never thought that I would be actually executing it. I would be actually filming this video. Now you must have already read the title and in case you're wondering what this video is all about let me explain. Starting this month I'm going to make capsule collection videos. Now in case you don't already know what a capsule collection is then basically you just pick out just absolute key essentials and you can pair this particular piece with 10 different pieces and you can create multiple different outfits so basically you have to come up with like a functional wardrobe for yourself and I wanted to implement the same thing with skincare and makeup because if 2020 has taught me something it is that I have a lot of products a lot of makeup a lot of skincare well I don't really have a lot of clothes we'll get to that in a bit but I just had a lot of things and I was still buying more and I was just cluttering everything I wasn't using things you know so I really want to make use of what I have and that's what I'm going to encourage you to do as well that's what this video is going to be about so start of every month if that is this month's video goes well you guys really like the concept then of course start of every month I'm going to do like a capsule collection for you know that particular month and if I'm going to do any haul so let's say Nike haul any clothing haul or anything of that sort I'm going to make sure to show it at the start of the month and then utilize or more so show those products of the haul in the upcoming videos of the month so you guys can also see how to really use it in multiple different ways how to create different looks with it if it is makeup how to tackle different skin conditions if it is skincare so I am so so excited I hope this idea this concept really makes you excited because I truly am uh, so the first video is going to be a makeup capsule collection for 2021 for the month of January of course at the end of every month I think we can do like a um, review of everything that we picked out and if that really stood by us if there's anything that we want to add what is it that we should add for the next month and so on and so forth so that's what I have in mind as of now let's see how it goes so let's get started. Also, you guys really wanted me to make 2020 makeup favorites, basically favorites. And I really wanted to do that as well. But I feel like instead of doing that, I can do this video because most of the things that you are seeing in this video are my 2020 favorites. I'm going to talk about it. So this is essentially my 2020 makeup favorites and also capsule collection for the month of January. So let's get started. Also, I don't think I explained the concept for makeup capsule collection. So basically, all of the products that I'm going to show you in this video are just going to be just staples. Staples that you need to create multiple different looks, be it neutral, be it something glam. I'm just going to show you products which if you have in your collection, you are pretty much sorted. So this can also very easily be your beginner's makeup guide, what to buy, what not to buy. I'm going to give you multiple recommendations. So let's get started. I'm going to first start off by talking about brows because that is what I do as my first step when I'm doing my makeup. So I'm going to be recommending three products. I'll talk about each. The first product has to be this one. This is the pack Arch My Brow Super Brow Palette. Now you can totally have just one eyebrow pencil if you already have like thick luscious just beautiful brows. I am sadly not blessed with that kind of eyebrow so I have to really make it look and appear bushy with like a lot of different products so that's why I'm going to show you three different products in total. So let's talk about this one. This I've been using from I think Feb or March of last year and I absolutely love it. You basically have everything that you need. So I use this color on the tail of my eyebrow to really give it that shape. I use this one on the front end of my eyebrow to really make it look natural. I use these two, what do you call this, gel? Basically these are like uh, the gel thingy to set your eyebrow in place and it works great. Honestly, I have used it for, I have just used this for uh, I think good six months and I've never felt the need to buy anything else. It just does the job you guys, it really makes it stand out. And honestly, you don't need the exact product itself. I know a lot of different brands are doing a product like this. So if you already have one, then I would definitely um, ask you or recommend you to pick this one for your capsule collection. Now, having said that, 
sometimes when you are just running errands and running late you know that happens even now sometimes uh, one product that i would 100% recommend it has to be this one the nika take a brow eyebrow filler this is beautiful this actually i am going to show you this in action again but i don't know how to explain it this is just quick you guys like, let's say you don't have the time to do a lot of different steps to make your eyebrow look like this you can pretty much do the same thing maybe not as perfect as this but you definitely can tame your eyebrow and give it a little bit of shape with this one and last thing has is something that is totally totally optional you don't need this i'm just letting you know that you don't need this but again if you have eyebrows like me it can sometimes look like i've done something to my eyebrow because it's drooping down and the hair is just like this does not look so nice um and so i have been wanting something like a super glue almost like a hairspray for your eyebrow this is basically a soap brow uh, this one i picked up from international makeup um website but basically you are supposed to wet the spoolie uh, just dunk in your spoolie in this and go over with the product on your eyebrow and this sets your eyebrow in place like nothing else i am hooked also it's not very expensive like some other brands that i've seen on nika so definitely check this out if you are looking for something like that but you don't necessarily have to have this if you already have like let's say uh, goof proof i think from benefit or just something which really you know sets your eyebrow in place i think you're sorted i'm just giving you some options in case you are looking for something now if you follow me on insta and if you watch my tutorials i'm sure you would know that i'm not really a primer person i was a primer person maybe like 2 3 years back when my skin was oily when i was in college uh, i had texture and those kind of things but this last year in 2020 i really did not feel the need to use a primer unless of course my skin really needed extra prep so i was not really using a primer so i don't have a primer favorite as such but one primer that i did reach out to was the hangover rx primer and um only because this is more on the hydrating side so every time that i would feel my skin is dry my makeup is not going to look so nice i would use this primer i know this is on the expensive side uh, you really don't need a primer as such you guys you can just have like a really good moisturizer maybe like an oil facial oil to uh, prep your skin but if i have to choose one for this capsule collection video i would definitely choose this one because this definitely does make your skin feel really hydrated and um yeah i i'm just going to choose this again i would say choose your primer depending on your need if your skin type is oily or if you have like a lot of texture definitely use something which smoothens out your skin sort of fills in the pores but if you have dry skin like me then definitely go for something which is on the hydrating side if that is you don't need more blurring and those kind of things so for primer i'm just picking up this one just because i have to pick Uh, but otherwise i would totally be okay with just using my moisturizer now let's move on to foundation so if you have watched my videos in 2020 you would know that i was obsessed with nika skin genius i think that foundation has been my favorite for almost 2 years now basically from the time it was launched up until 2020 i have used that foundation and i would totally choose that foundation as well but i am running out of it i'm running out of my second bottle of that foundation or second tube of it and again i don't want to buy a foundation right now because i have other foundation to use and that is why i'm really doing this video you guys so i really utilize what i already have and that's why i am using or choosing this foundation instead for this video so this is from flower beauty this is the light illusion luminous makeup nude skin feel all day wear why do i read the entire thing i have no idea uh, foundation and i have this in the shade warm beige a foundation which is more on the higher coverage side and has a natural finish why i'll tell you so let's say you want to just do like a full glam makeup today right you can use a foundation which is on the higher coverage side the other day let's say you don't want to have like a full coverage look or you just want to go very natural with your look you can still customize the same foundation you can just use very little of it or you can mix in um a little bit of your moisturizer a little primer something of that sort to really um uh, you know take down the coverage and make it look more natural as opposed to having like two different foundations so one is one which is on the less coverage side one which is on the higher coverage side instead just have one and customize it as per your need and the same goes with the finish as well if you want to look dewy you can mix in a little bit of your liquid illuminator or 
you know like really put some sort of liquid or just highlighting sort of a base underneath and of course same thing applies to a matte finish as well if you want the foundation or your look to basically look more matte then maybe use a little less moisturizer you can powder your face prior to using foundation that is something else that you can do so make sure you're choosing your foundation wisely you really don't need different sorts of foundations that is something that i've realized last year what i like about this is it has got a really good coverage so even now you can see this is the foundation that i have on my skin the only con that i have with this shade in particular is it it is light on my skin and because i'm so used to wearing like a darker shade of foundation i i i mean i don't know how i feel about it shade wise and another really good thing that i like about this is the finish of it the finish is on the natural side like if you don't do anything to it if you just use the way it is you get like a very natural finish for concealer i have three options again you don't need three options with your concealer i'm just extra sometimes with my concealer sometimes i have a particular concealer for the lighter shade sometimes i have a different concealer for the coverage so i'm just going to talk about it and give you more options so the first one i'm going to talk about is a l'oreal infallible full wear concealer and uh, this one is in the shade amber 312 this has to be my most used concealer of 2020 absolutely love it i love the coverage of it it is so high on coverage you guys like sometimes when i'm really not in the mood of doing my full face of makeup or even putting on foundation i just use this to spot correct and i think this matches my skin tone pretty well beautiful beautiful coverage i definitely recommend having a concealer with like um medium to full coverage if you want to skip foundation you totally can if you want to do a natural look you totally can use a concealer with good coverage just use it to spot correct and you're good to go now one thing about this is if you have extremely dry under eyes or just you know parched or just flaky skin this will emphasize it just letting you know so if you want to use it or if you have one and you are facing similar issue then definitely make sure to prep your skin really well moisturize it thoroughly um next concealer i have is the pack take cover concealer this is also quite similar to that one but this is a little bit less coverage wise um, and this is something that I mostly use for the shade. So this is in the shade Butterscotch. And uh, this is more on the brightening side. So this one does not really highlight my face. Um, and that's why I use this shade to highlight. Another concealer which I quickly want to mention. Uh, even though I'm not including it in this video. Is because I've completely run out of it. Is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Sand. If you're my skin tone. Definitely check out the shade Sand in that concealer. If you like that concealer that is of course. Uh, it it is beautiful for brightening underneath your eyes and on the center of your face another concealer that well it's not my favorite favorite but i still want to give a quick shout out to this swiss beauty concealer i am in the shade medium beige and the coverage on this is quite nice it is a decent coverage it's not super high coverage it's not super low coverage it is a good concealer for the price point the only problem is it creases so much forget creasing i'm okay with creasing most of the concealer crease and it is absolutely fine on my skin it moves a lot i don't know what it is maybe um you have to use a moisturizer which is not super emollient and maybe then this will sit well on your skin but it moves a lot that is the only downside to this concealer but if you're looking for a concealer which is like extremely extremely affordable check this out it is quite good it will give you coverage maybe not the best coverage but it is a good concealer so i again wanted to include more affordable options and i will be showing you this in action very soon it's time for contour i think contouring has to be one of my favorite steps of doing full face of makeup like i really look forward to it and i think my 2020 contour game has been pretty good because of this product it has to be one of my most used products of 2020 the huda beauty tantor in the shade light i know that this is on the expensive side and i'm also one of those people who would rather uh, pay 2400 500 whatever in a piece of clothing instead of buying makeup product are you guys like that i'm just assuming you are like that <laughs> anyways but you guys i totally totally feel like it is worth it i do not spend i i do not regret spending my money on this because 
it is so beautiful it is such a beautiful contour again she has come through in 2020 for me can you see there's almost a dent in this contour product i love it you can absolutely trick people i know i've said this before but what do i even talk about it it is so beautiful it blends beautifully looks so natural you can use very little of it to get like more uh just you know like you really can trick people with this product that's what i want to say about it and um love it you can go ham with this you can really make your contour stand out with this product or you can go natural look so beautiful um i don't even set this with another product like i don't use another powder contour or something of that sort and that is a big deal for me because i love a cream contour but i can be lazy about setting it because most cream contour products just move around but this one just sets on your face and not in a weird patchy way it sets beautifully looks so natural you guys just try it if you haven't maybe not now but once you run out of your contour product just try it i'm sure you're going to love it having said all of that i'm also going to give you another affordable option la girl pro conceal concealer in the shade toast can you tell this is like this one i think i bought in 8 or 10 months back and i haven't used it only because i've just i haven't been able to put this freaking product down and that's why this is just brand new but i still do want to have this just because i want to show you different products in action in case you're looking for affordable products uh, this one also works great uh so you can definitely check this out if or again don't check this out as in buy it buy it but if you're looking for something uh maybe you don't want to have like a proper cream contour product like that one you can definitely choose a darker shade of foundation and you can pretty much get similar uh, result so i want to include this just because i want to give you option and of course show you how this works out this also works great um so these two products so for bronzer i'm going to um uh, include butter bronzer from physicians formula this is a beautiful bronzer the only problem is i have uh, bought the wrong shade i have the shade bronzer and this sometimes just does not show up on my skin tone but i still want to include it because the formula is so so beautiful i just have to layer it up a few times now for blush i think in 2020 i tried three new blushes out of which i have completely shattered one for, from color bar so i would have instead included that one if that was intact um and the other one that i tried was maybelline fit me blush which just does not show up on my skin i don't know what it is and the third um recent one that i tried is the loreal lives a peach blush and this is in the shade peach addict or something coral addict something of that sort i'll definitely link it in the description box below but i wore this in uh, one of my igtv videos and i i got a few questions asking which blush it is it is beautiful you guys i think again choose a blush which can go with all sorts of different makeup looks and not necessarily like a mauvey i i the reason why i've chosen this one as my primary blush is because the color is so so versatile it is a beautiful peach it goes with different looks it has slight bit of just like golden reflex to it so maybe if you don't like it of course um you know you can go for something which is absolutely matte but i think the color and the formula of this one is beautiful and it flatters my skin tone beautifully this was the blush that i even packed for my brother's wedding and it looked beautiful so um this is my primary blush and the only blush blush that i'm you know considering for this collection um having said that sometimes you might even need like a pinky blush or something of that sort now of course if you have that a pinky blush go for it like a proper product but i what i'm planning instead is just to have these lipsticks that's what i have on my cheeks today so i have the lakme forever matte liquid lip color in the shade nude pink as my blush and i think these two formulas from lakme works really really well as a blush as well so i'm just uh, going to utilize the formula of these lipsticks as my blush it's now time for highlighter and i have a few favorites that i want to talk about also sorry if the lighting has changed it was just getting too cloudy so i had to open the windows and so you will also hear a lot little bit of background noise um so my first highlighter favorite and something that i recommend people who love a natural looking highlighter 100% has to be the miss clear strobing powder this has to be one of my um best discoveries 
of 2020 um, I just have like a few absolute affordable discoveries and every time I find something like that which is affordable and great I'm just like blown away and this is honestly you guys this is so freaking beautiful I have a complete just in-depth video talking about this just testing it out it is beautiful you guys and honestly it looks so gorgeous on my skin tone I feel like if you are you know my skin tone or even anywhere near my skin tone this is a beautiful beautiful highlighter and it looks so gorgeous it is so smooth it does not emphasize your texture or anything i've used it on mature skin as well and it looks beautiful so i have to talk about becca's champagne pop again it would not be right if i don't talk about this because this was another one of my favorite highlighters of 2020 bought this extremely late almost at the end of year when this was launched but you can see the difference this is champagne bob this is bob champagne pop i love both of these and i use it for different reasons like when i'm doing more indian look more just like natural look i would go for this one uh, otherwise when i'm doing more glam look i choose this highlighter now i know if i talk about another highlighter you might feel like i'm going a little excessive which maybe i am but i feel like i have to have a liquid highlighter of some sort i know you don't need three different highlighters but i'm just showing you different options um so with that being said i think we are done with base except i think i have to talk about uh, setting all of that base and for that i have the one and only faces canada finishing touch setting powder um again this was one of my favorite discoveries of 2020 it looks white but it actually is not as you can see no color and it sets your makeup beautifully it does not crease it does not look heavy or cakey if you have dry skin oh my god you're going to freaking love this even if you have oily skin i think this will do the job for you and um, i think a great product again for winters if you don't want to deal with like loose setting powders i love a good loose setting powder you guys but i'm just lazy my ass is so lazy that i just i sometimes would skip setting my base um when i did not have this and i did not want to mess and fuss with loose setting powder i would just skip my uh, setting my base altogether and ever since i've had this i don't feel that anymore it's very quick just open it tap 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 set your base and you're done and it also looks flawless it gives you a very like flawless look and i absolutely love that about it now let's move on with eye makeup i know this video is long i don't know how you're watching it um but I'm going to try and make the eye makeup part quick because, well, you might think I have a lot of product, but I don't. So for eyeshadow, the only eyeshadow palette that I want to recommend has to be this one. It is, I cannot even explain you how difficult it is for me to just choose one eyeshadow palette. Even when I packed my makeup for my brother's wedding, I packed three eyeshadow palettes because I'm just like that. Like I cannot just have one. It's, it's, it's difficult, but again let's make things practical you know this video is all about keeping things practical and one of the palettes which i absolutely love has to be this one from makeup revolution or revolution pro this is the new neutral luxe eyeshadow palette and this is the glitter that i had even used on the day of sangeet makeup oh my god it looked beautiful and i think this is a very beautiful palette you guys for indian skin tones if you are just sick of using um like browns and just uh, oranges on your crease and those kind of colors you want more of a variety something different but something still on the neutral side this palette has it all now for something um, to jazz up my eye looks you guys know i love a product which can take my basic eye look to just extravaganza eye look i love a product like that and one of my best discoveries has to be these little guys from swiss beauty again i think i've talked about it so much at this point i really feel like you guys are going to just skip this portion i'm absolutely okay if you skip but i'm talking about the swiss beauty jelly eyeshadow and i'm going to include all of the shades um, only because if I want to do a pop of color that palette really has no color so I can do uh, or maybe you know create those looks with these uh, shadows here from Swiss Beauty but for mascara one of my favorites again absolutely fell in love with this mascara I don't think I've talked about it in my YouTube videos I've talked about it or done like a full video of this on my IGTV so check it out if you want like a review 
but this is the mascara I have right now and when Maybelline says lash lift it means lash lift beautiful mascara I don't think I've ever had a mascara just this beautiful now I know everybody loves L'Oreal's Lash Paradise and I like it too when it dries down the only thing that it can feel a little bit more clumpy and I'm not a fan of clumpy mascara and for that reason I think I'm a fan this does so many different things for your lashes it gives you volume it gives you length but it also lifts your lashes now for eyeliner another one of my favorite has to be uh, the NYX Love Lust Disco Epic Ink Liner it is so so pigmented it is supremely black the tip is beautiful you can actually so the the foxy eye that you see today is also done by this the tip actually allows you to do that and um, even though this was a little bit on the expensive side i honestly don't spend a lot on eyeliners but i don't know what yes i do remember what it was i saw a swatch video of this eyeliner on their instagram page nick's instagram page and i was like let me tell you, I never feel that way about eyeliners. Like eyeliners in general don't excite me. An eyeliner is an eyeliner as long as it is black, long lasting, I'm okay with it. Uh, but I, I, I totally, totally love it. I do not regret spending 900, I think this was. Don't regret it. it. It has served me good. And for kajals, I'm just going with all of the different colors from sugar, Coal of Intense Kajal. My favorite Kajal at the moment has to be this one in fact. One of you guys actually asked me on Insta what is my uh, current favorite Kajal. I think that was the question and I even replied that it is this one. The Coal of Intense uh, Kajal in the shade Blackout. It is... Let me give you a quick swatch. Maybe this is not as exciting but just look at that color right there beautiful beautiful pigmentation um, and now I generally love a kajal which is easy to smudge because I don't necessarily use it as a kajal I more so use it as a base to smudge it out maybe add more color so this one just does it for me but if you're someone who likes to just you know use it on your waterline you can maybe go for something like the k-beauty one I do have that as well but it's not so easy to smudge um, and that's why I'm choosing this one I'm not sure how much of lash use I'm going to get uh, this month but one that I have been hooked to has to be this one sadly this is from Shein basically more of like a 3D fluffy lash something like this if you already have in your collection great otherwise just go for something which you absolutely love using so with that i think i'm done with this makeup capsule collection for the month of january also if you have any look in mind that you want me to create for this month send me a picture of it on my insta i'm absolutely looking forward to it and that's all i'll see you guys in my next video if you liked it please give this video a big thumbs up you can click on the bell notification right next to it so you get notified when i post next and follow me on insta and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye